how's it going? Um, okay, so welcome to Tesla Challenge number 20. I'm probably, all right, so for you live people, I'm probably gonna do another intro in a minute. Um, and then when this is like later today, I'll probably cut out this beginning part. Um, and then um, so I will tell you, um, I only have so much control over quarantine. Uh, or sorry, I'm looking, I'm thinking of something else. Um, I only have so much control over the quality. Uh, I think as we get off the dirt roads, the quality, I don't know how it is. Hopefully it's okay. Um, hopefully the quality should bump up. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. So again, I know a lot of people are going to start entering the chat here. It's really early, so I don't know how many people will really have, you know. Um, but but we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens as we get farther out. So, view looks pretty good. Hopefully you like that. Let me know. Do I sound okay? My puppy woke me up. Good job, puppy. Uh, all right, so that's where we're going. Wow, 50 people already. Oh my gosh, you guys are early risers. <laughs> that's funny. So, yeah, Tesla Challenge number 20. Pretty cool. Everything is good. All right, so blurry and shaky. Yeah, well, we're on the dirt for now. Um, when we get off the dirt, we should get better. It shouldn't be nearly as shaky, um, and the quality should get better. But um, So how am I able to drive outside? Okay, so just you can't see, but I have a little, I have another phone set up to my left, just like a GPS up there. Um, so I can kind of glance over at that. So driving during quarantine, um, I am an essential worker. I have a letter from my work that I carry with me. Um, and so if the cops ask, I show them that letter. But, you know, to be honest, in Michigan, and I think, there we go, that'll be a lot better for you. I think most of the country, they're not really enforcing it that much. <laughs> it is like a rally car. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me do, okay, so to live people, I'm gonna explain to you really quick what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do an intro as if this isn't a live video. I'm going to ignore you. And I may ignore you a lot throughout. It depends on, you know, if I can't. I'm driving a car, so I may have to ignore you guys. Um, but I'm going to do an intro, and then later, after this is posted, I'm going to cut out this beginning part. So, um, oh, but then you miss... Okay, I'm not going to do that, because then people miss the live chat, and I don't like that. Okay, so, welcome to Tesla Challenge number 20. We are doing this one live. I hope everybody is doing good. Um, I look forward to hearing from you in the chat. So if you're new to Tesla Challenge, this is where I take my car and I let it do all the driving for me. So Teslas right now are uh, capable of doing on-ramp to off-ramp on highways with no interventions. Now that doesn't always go as planned. So I do these challenges. I always keep a hand on the wheel for safety and that's how you're supposed to use the system. Um, but my car can change lanes by itself. It can take exits. It can do interchanges from one highway to the next. So I try to go on ramp to off ramp and let my car do everything like that. Um, so if you're new to Tesla or um, autopilot or anything, I, I've been getting this question a little more lately. Uh, you can tell that autopilot is on by these two blue lines. When I'm on the highway, it'll be one blue line. But if you see blue lines on the screen, that means the car is driving itself and controlling the speed. If I touch the brake, it'll turn off. And how you know it turned off? that chime and all the blue goes away. Now if you see just this blue circle like this, that means it's controlling the speed, but as you can see here, I am controlling the steering. Um, double tap and now it's on. So uh, at the end, it's a little weird doing it live, but at the end of a Tesla challenge, I usually give the car a grade um, and you know, somewhere A, B, C, D, whatever, how it does. Um, so it's quarantine right now um, and there's not going to be a whole lot of cars. I'm oh, sorry, let's check this out. So there's not going to be... I can't see the blue lines. 
uh, unfortunately. So, well, I mean, it's good and bad because this Tesla challenge will most likely be successful um, and that'll be nice, but um, it's also not as fun, you know, because the car's not interacting with any other cars. So, that's a water, I can swear. <laughs> All right, so there's the intro. Now I can act like it's live again. Um, hit like and subscribe uh, <laughs> if you enjoy this. Uh, oh, image quality too low. Well, dang, that's lame. I'm hoping it'll get better. Um, Violet, you're very funny, but I work. I'm going to work. Um, so I have to go to work. Um, I'm, I honestly, that was my biggest concern. You know, I've actually had a lot of requests for this, um, to do this live, but I, I don't have any control over the quality. Um, so... Yeah, I just can hope it gets better. I'm kind of still out, you know, in the sticks a little bit. So, um, that's part of why it's uh, not looking so good. Uh, you know, the other thing I can do, and I can't really look at the chat. Um, let's try this. I'm going to turn this off. Tell me if in a minute or so, if the quality gets better. If so, then I won't really be able to look at the chat so much. Um, but if it doesn't improve, then I'll just turn my chat back on because I would like to be able to, to talk with you guys. But um, if you if you didn't hear, I have a secondary phone on my left that you can't see that it's just mounted just like a GPS. So that way I can kind of glance at the chat. But um, I turn that off to see if that'll help with uh, the quality. So yeah, it's, it's the unfortunate part of doing these things live. And this is why, you know, a lot of people asked if I could do Grounded, the, my Q&A that I do. You know, they asked if, um, oh, I don't have enough regen, come on. Uh, they asked if I could do that while driving, which, if I had a second person to read me the questions, I would love to do. But, um, wow, that guy's going really slow. What are you even thinking? Um, I would love to do uh, grounded live, but, you know, then people complain of the quality. So, yeah. Um, check the description. I have some stuff you can request down there. But if you can't see anything, you may not want to request. So, you know, I wouldn't really blame you for that. Oh, good. It's improving. I'm glad. Yeah. So, quality should... All right. I'm going to leave that other phone off um, just in case. I don't know if that was doing it or not. Um, because now we're getting more closer to towers and stuff. Um, so, we'll see. How drastic has my time to work been reduced? It has been reduced a lot. So on a normal day, I would say it would take me like 40, anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes, um, depending of course on traffic. Well now I'll get to work sometimes like in 32 minutes. Um, so, you know, eight minutes off of a 35 minute drive. I mean, there's, I pretty much never slow down. I get on the highway and set my cruise control, and then that's it. There's not enough cars to even slow you down, even when people are taking exits and stuff. So, yeah. Tortellini, you're awake. Oh, no, that's going to pose a problem. Um, hmm, okay. Not having the signal. All right, let me turn my other phone back on, and please tell me if the quality goes bad again from that because um, I really need it. I kind of really need it so all right I paused the I'm not playing the video on the other phone I only have the chat up so set a banana do you want me to spin out is that what the banana means like in Mario Kart now this guy is slowing me down after I said that there's nobody in my way um I'm I'm 30 uh, what Tesla are you driving? This is the Model 3 long range non-performance. So I have not interacted with the car yet. Yeah, you know, I turn on, I'm gonna let it do as much as I can. We're coming up to this red light. We'll see if we get a warning here. Nope, no warning. So that's lame. Hello, Germany. Oh, video's still good. Awesome, Keep telling me. If it goes bad, tell me, and I'll just have to turn the chat off. That'll, that'll be unfortunate because then people do use Super Chat. Please apologize for me if I don't respond to it, because I may not see it. But then you can just spam at me. Wow, 
I would do a launch here, but uh, I don't want the camera to move too much. <laughs> So, oh, another thing I'll say is this is going to be part one of Tesla Challenge number 20. So we're going to do, you know, number 20, you got to celebrate it. So, um, oh, here we go. All right, this is going to be fun. So let me turn this down a bunch. Okay, so hopefully you can, no, 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 no. Hopefully you can see my autopilot speed right here. I've set it to zero. Um, all right, set it to two miles an hour, just to inch up a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do, autopilot is on right now. I'm gonna try to let the car go through this red light. It's gonna be a little tricky. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna click this to increase my speed once it turns green. <laughs> Excuse me, but I may also have to um, hit the accelerator, but I'm not gonna steer through this red light. So if it screws up, um, oh, you passed me at 23, that's cool. If it screws up, all right, here we go. So increasing my speed. So the car is steering. It's getting confused already. Oh, what is it doing? <laughs> all right, well, it screwed up. Now, I've never seen it do that. That was pretty crazy. So it went, there are two left turn lanes there. It went into the right left turn lane, which was crazy. Um, and then it bailed on me. So I've never experienced that before. All right, so I'm gonna set this to 75. Um, that's where we're gonna be. And I'm not going to do anything. So I turned it on. Oh, let me turn this camera on for you. Uh, hopefully you can see that okay. So also the audio quality might not be great on the highway. This, you know, live is just, it's very difficult. Live is very difficult. Um, so, um, yeah, set it to 75. Uh, I may increase that only because people are driving like crazy these days um, since there's not that much traffic uh, but so far we're doing pretty good uh, there was a semi there when we were getting on but we had we had time okay Simon Young everybody twitch.tv slash <laughs> Canada school <laughs> actually it's mixer dot what is it plug your thing I've been playing some games with my buddy on this mixer bad quality no can anybody else confirm bad quality? I will uh, turn off my other phone. If you do. Well, it is good. Alright. It's mixed. Yeah, it, it might go in and out. So, um, if it consistently stays bad, let me go. Let me know. Yeah, you know, I'm okay with 480p, so what I mean bad is like, can you make out, can you see what's going on? Like, is it okay to watch? Like, it's not going to be 1080p, I hate to tell you. Um, the only other thing I've thought is if I have, like, a mobile hotspot in here, but the problem with that is that it's the exact same internet that my phone's using, so I'm not sure why that would help. Um, my phone is not near anything metal. It's, if I look, the signal, it's got full bars on 4G, so... Yeah, so. yeah, so if you can see what's going on, we're, we'll have to deal. I mean, it's live, you know, you do what you can. So, just chilling here. Um, you can't, I don't think you can see my hand. Um, I keep a hand on the wheel all the time, in the lower left of the steering wheel. Um, and that way I never get the, the nag on here. So, I'll take my hands off. Um, let's see. You can see how long the nag takes live. Oh, man, I'm going to have to answer this question a million times. I'm driving for fun. And I'm going to a house party with 100 people at it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I'm an essential worker, pretty much, is the answer. Um, just go to work. Yeah, I know, Travis. There is still a decent amount of people. Okay, here we go. Apply force to the steering wheel. We got the blue. All right, and then I'll just put my hand back on the wheel, and it goes away. So I pretty much never have... Uh, never ever have that pop up. It's very simple. So I'm surprised people are being pretty calm today. Um, I've been going most days about 80 to work and um, I get passed regularly even at that speed. So it seems people are going about 80. <laughs> nice Simon, that is tight. 
I wish I could work on that. We got something. Oh, okay, it's the other side of the road. I don't know. I'm gonna keep saying I don't know what you can see and what you can't. But on the left side of the road there, they're doing some kind of work. I don't know. It wasn't there yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Quality is gonna bump around. Yes, thank you, Simon. You're feeding our blocky cows. Uh, did we get snow yesterday? Yeah, it didn't stick, but it was like sunny and my car was getting hit with ice as I was driving. So, good morning, Texas. I think it's earlier there, even earlier. Um, so, a sad thing I'm going to have to start doing, guys, is... Um, is, uh, I'm going to have to start driving our Equinox some more. <laughs> Good night from California. I know, Jason. Um, I'm going to have to start driving our Equinox more for a few reasons. So, because of the quarantine, you know, everybody, of course, gas prices are insanely low, which is, you know, a good thing for consumers. Um, and so, that's a good reason to drive the Equinox, because gas is cheap. And I just put so many miles on my Model 3, so right now I am at 33,000 miles. And then our Equinox is a lease. Wow, Scotland, Virginia, hello everybody. Um, our Equinox is a lease and we pretty much never drive it, especially now with the quarantine. I mean, we do not drive our Equinox at all. And we are way behind on the miles. Oh, I'm glad to hear the 720p with the chat up. So I don't have to worry about the chat, that's good news. Um, so we are way behind miles on the lease. Um, so oh, from the Equinox, yeah, that'll last about five seconds until I go off into the ditch. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to start driving the Equinox and put some miles on it. So yeah, Portugal, what up? That is awesome. When you edit the videos, can you put some more perspective when there is something interesting? If you liked the video, thank you, medical cannabis. That is amazing. Oh, we're changing lanes finally. Uh, what is this? Changing lanes to follow route. That is, you don't need to do that, so that's weird. Uh, but now we're in the fast lane, and nobody's behind us. Oh, changing out of passing lane. Perfect. Good job there, Tesla. That was very exciting. Great job. Um, yeah, provide perspective when things are interesting. I will try to do that more. I'm sorry, obviously I can't pronounce your name. It looks like it's Greek or something. Um, so asking for me to pr provide more perspective. Here's the problem, when I'm filming a video now these days, uh, part of the problem is I'm used to a lot of things that are going on. So if you're new to Tesla, or even if you are not new to Tesla, and you kind of know what's going on, um, sorry, let me rephrase that. If, so for me, there's a lot of things that will happen that are just normal. And so I may not comment on them. Whereas if you're new to Tesla, or even if you own a Tesla, but maybe you don't use autopilot that much, to you it's like, you're like, wait, what's going on? I need an explanation. And I have a decent amount of viewers that also know a lot. So I kind of feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I have to remember, you know, think about it this way. Um, thanks, Ruben. Uh, have fun working. Um, think about it this way. Um, over around 80%, of my viewers are not subscribed. So I guess I need to act more like, oh, this guy's gonna merge on. All right, let's see. Hopefully you can see the screen. The car does not detect it yet. Come on. Oh, no, what the heck? Oh, it's slowing, okay. Wow, caught him a little late. What are you doing? Slow down. Oh, my. oh and they're from Ohio, so they probably think I'm just being a jerk. All right, oh, now changing into faster lane. What the heck are you doing? Okay, well, the car slowed down at least for them to merge on. It just was very late. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's hard for me to comment. I'll, I'll try to remember. I'll try to act like everybody watching knows nothing about autopilot. Um, but then on the flip side, I sometimes look at these comments like, oh my gosh, stop repeating that. You know, we've heard you say that before. So it's hard for the dedicated subscribers to hear that stuff. Gregory, that is awesome. May, June delivery. Yeah, I don't think they've stopped deliveries. Um, they've slowed down a bit. But they just do contactless. Yeah, 
Yeah, the roads are pretty empty. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's been like this for gotta be close to a month now. Um, where there's just not much traffic at all. So it's pretty crazy. So that's why I was saying it's like kind of a good thing to um, to do this Tesla challenge now since the roads are empty, but at the same time it's not as exciting. But we are just sitting in the passing lane, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. It's been pretty good about getting out, but I find sometimes it gets stuck. So hopefully it'll move if somebody comes up on us. Ooh, Victor, that's a great idea. Having a quick animation. Ooh, that is a really good idea. I gotta make some kind of stock footage that's maybe 10 or 20 seconds long. Um, explaining autopilot because, yeah, you know, every video, you know, even like the latest, Tesla Challenge 19, I'll get comments like, oh, it looks like you're steering, or how do I know autopilot's not, you know, and I can't keep, like, and the, like this part where I'm driving, I can't keep going over autopilot the whole time because, you know, people get bored and they click off the video and stuff, so that's a really good idea. Maybe even just a graphic, like put a picture up for 10 seconds and they can pause on it and it'll be like, is autopilot working, you know? Uh, I just answer all this. Thank you, Victor. That is a really good idea. Um, how is air quality? Santos. Um, it's fine. Our air quality isn't that bad, so I don't think it's really changed that much. I also, like, live out in the woods, so <laughs> our air quality has always been really good. Maybe in the city it's better, but I don't really go into the city. Um, I work, so I, I come from the north, and I work in the very north uh, east corner of the city. Like I don't, I work's not even in the city, so I, I like never go in the city. So I really don't know. They're gonna watch 420 satellites, of course they are. At 1:30, I'll be working, but if I'm at my desk, I'll try to put it on. That'll be cool. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for Sterling. <laughs> I'm passing all the haters. That's what's up. Yeah, you get visualizations with Hardware 3. You don't need full self-drive. You don't need to pay for full self-driving. Yeah, I can add some Tesla cam footage, which is basically what you're seeing here, only from the back camera. But yeah, I'll edit some in there for you. What is the weather? The weather is currently it's 31 Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was that cold. April's killing us. Um, so I guess there's actually technically a polar vortex still going on right now, is what Stephanie was telling me yesterday. So um, there's a polar vortex going on. And uh, so it's keeping it cold, but that's supposed to be done next week or something. But uh, it's 31 degrees and it's clear. It looks like a little like some clouds. Actually, no, there's clouds up there, but there's no rain or anything. And another reminder, yes, zero Celsius. Um, or maybe negative 0.5 Celsius. I will be doing part two later today at about 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern, somewhere in that time frame. I'm not going to schedule it because I have no idea when it will start. But look for that if you want to see uh, see one more of these for part two of, of Tesla Challenge 20. What do you think of ordering carry-out food with the virus situation? Is it safe? You know, anything you do, tortellini, is a risk. Um, and it's all about kind of managing those risks um, and I don't know I, I think it's fine I think you should live is interesting good Jim I'm glad to hear that um, I think you can order carry out um, and I think it's a good thing especially if you don't get it from a chain if you get it from a small restaurant that you know is probably suffering right now and not able to <laughs> not getting customers maybe having a tough time paying their bills I think you should get carry out um, and all the restaurants are doing a really good job. So I actually, we got pizza last week um, and from this a small place. Uh, I forget what it's called. I mean, the place was big, but it wasn't a chain. Oh, we're getting out of passing lane right as this guy comes up on our butt. See, some people say that the car detects people behind you and moves out of the way. I don't think that's true, but that really seemed like it did it there. That was really interesting. So um, anyway, we got pizza and they made it so you can't go in the restaurant and they put like a long table coming out of the door. 
um, and you walked up and I saw they had, you had to sign your receipt. And I saw they had a, a bin for, it said sanitized pens and used pens. So they were putting the used pens over there and you know, uh, sanitizing them and putting them in the sand. So that's really cool. Uh, the worker was not wearing a mask. So should they have been? I think they should have been, but they were wearing gloves. Um, and then and there was nobody else there. One other person pulled up, they had a mask on and they stayed very far from me. So um, yeah, I think you should get carry out. Yeah, chat, you can make a, read the description of the video. I got some. There's some super chats you can do, but I'll be honest, if you just say it, I'll probably do it. <laughs> um, even though there isn't really anything going on, it's actually really interesting, intriguing. Well, I'm glad, Proby. Uh, yeah, there's not too much. And I figured this would make a good live one for that reason. Like, I wouldn't be able to edit this into anything too good. Um, I've been thinking, let me know what you're interested in. I've been thinking of recording a drive and just time-lapsing the whole thing. So it's just a couple minutes long and an entire drive so you can see how autopilot does the whole time. No commentary or anything, just a little music. Um, what if you put up the blue autopilot steering wheel when it is on turn and gray when it's off? Yeah. Jaja, ja, I can do that. Oh, okay, so we got someone merging on here. And we were far from them. <laughs> Hello from the great white north. Two Canadian dollars? Wow, thanks for the three American cents. That's so nice of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's my buddy, so I'm screwing him. Um, all right, so changing lanes into faster lane. I'm not I'm not doing anything, guys. Just, you know, if you're new to autopilot. All the blue means the car's doing it all. So really good lane change. Uh, and we're good there. Very nice. Um, let's see. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna miss some chat. You guys are talking a lot, which is fine. Keep it up. Oh, we're at the 100. Come on, one more person. Maybe we did hit 100, I didn't notice. Um, stimulus check going towards the Model Y. Yeah, I wish. Uh, hello. Do you wear a mask while you're out? Why is tailgating me? It looks like he's fine, but he's close enough. So if you can see that green arrow in the top left, that means you can use that lane. You're allowed to pass in that lane. So I'm not in the passing lane technically right now. Um, oh my gosh, please don't change lanes uh, in front of that person. So I'm not in the passing lane right now, but the car thinks I am because of the solid yellow line. So I thought it would get out of this lane, but it's not. So I just hope now that this person moved over there and doesn't change in front of them. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Um, oh, I'm, I'm picking on your monopoly. Uh, what do you think? Feature complete autopilot will come out. You know, Phanasis, uh, I was really thinking it was going to be the end of the first half of this year. So by the end of like July or so, um, or end of August. But now, what they're releasing, this next thing with the um, stop signs and stoplights, oh, I don't know. Um, oh. Everybody left because it died for one second. Uh, that sucks. Um, so they're releasing this stop signs and stop lights. Sorry, I'm paying attention to the road. And um, it doesn't, like it stops at every intersection, whether it's green or whatever. Um, but so, I'm sorry, there's not much I can do about the quality, guys. Um, oh, there's a cop. See, good thing we're not speeding much. Uh, what was I saying? So now, okay, we're slowing down for this bend. It's very hard to keep track of everything while I'm doing this live. Oh, feature complete full self-driving. So they're releasing the stop signs and stop lights where it stops at every intersection. And I don't, I, I thought the next thing they were going to release was stop signs and stop lights, and that would be feature complete. But they're not. They're just releasing stopping at intersections, and you have to, you know, hit this to continue at a green light, and that doesn't count. So now I don't know. Maybe end of the year. I, I'm really confused now. I would say end of the year, I guess. Um, what if the Tesla could connect to Starlink and you were able to stream from with that? Uh, I would do that, yeah. That would be sweet. Change the PowerPoint slide. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. So. Um, what if the Tesla could connect to Starlink? 
Chinese chain. Uh, what's the speed limit for trucks? What the U.S. is very different everywhere you go, but so that was a lane change for I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> that was weird. Usually it would change into the left lane to pass. Um, in Michigan it's 65, but they can go way faster than that. Uh, Cybertruck or Model Y? Definitely Cybertruck. We might get a Model Y, but I would pick the Cybertruck over the Y. Better call it in the previous drive, so glad to hear that. Yeah, we should be good on towers. I'm surprised they disconnected. We're like in, basically in the city right now. Nice resolution, awesome. What is the biggest YouTuber you have met? Have you met any Tesla YouTubers? Oh God, I hope they don't get mad if I forget them. Um, I have not really met up with anybody. Um, I'm trying to think. Met up with. <laughs> uh, I've talked, you know, I've been talking to a lot of people online, but I haven't met anybody. Yeah, city navigation would be nice. If you buy a summer shirt, you have to do a gun test. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to get a million views. Maybe, maybe it'd be worth it. Um, okay, so we're almost done here, guys. This is my exit. So. Looks like we're going to be successful here. Autopilot is going to go on ramp to off ramp with no interventions. You're my biggest fan, Violet. Is that why you keep telling me to stay home? Um, <laughs> so, uh, I would like to collab with PewDiePie if he's watching this. PewDiePie hit me up. That'd be a great collab. So, the car is about to take its exit. We can play games in the car. Look at that. Exit all by itself. So, great job by Autopilot. Um, I hope this was fun for you guys. Uh, I'm going to leave autopilot on till the, uh, all, all the way to the red light. We'll see how it does at the intersection. Um, and then we're going to stop. It's currently 8.06 a.m. Um, so that drive to work was about 35 minutes. So that was a longer one. Um, so it's getting confused here. So it picks the middle lane, which I'm okay with. There's nobody around anyway. Oh my gosh, potholes. Um, and look for part two later today. It'll be in about six hours or so I'm gonna do part two. So I'm still not doing anything. Is it gonna stop at this red light? Nope, oh, we got a red light warning right there. Awesome. Red light warning, take over. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. And you will see my car in the next video.